getting started with eBay part two. In the other video, um, I had to make it short because I wanted to get into some other things. And uh, right here, actually, I just packaged up uh, the sneakers I showed you guys in the last video. Actually, sold a couple hours after I posted the video on YouTube. Um, yeah, wrapped it up hardcore. So that's ready to go out. <clears throat> anyway, um, I want to talk to you about liquidation and basically raising capital, how important it is to have money on you and to possibly start your separate bank account uh, just for business purposes. Uh, some of you, most, I think a good amount of sellers on eBay already have full-time jobs and different things they're doing or running other businesses or whatever. But if you make this kind of like, a, you know, separate, not a side thing, but separate, it'll empower you more. And I'll tell you why. Um, I'll, I'll tell you exactly why. Watch out for my wallet there, buddy. Anyway, okay. Now, liquidation um, and basically having money. All right. This is a stash. Usually, I, I for some reason, is unavoidable. I usually have, like some cash I think this is somewhat over something over a hundred dollars but you always get caught in this situation because like for example I sell on Craigslist too as well and uh, I sell on other sites I sell on Facebook and you're usually always exchanging cash the only thing I don't like about uh, using cash in many of my transactions is that although everybody likes cash I kind of like the the transaction to direct you know deposit accounts and direct contact on that level because it's more empowering and with cash cash is so universal it doesn't have a name on it, it doesn't say this is supposed to go in that and that's supposed to go in this it doesn't really say that so you got to get yourself into a liquidating state so Basically, this is how you learn how to liquidate and then because there's usually there's two very important steps to resale. Nobody's going to tell you this. There's liquidation and then there's picking for profits. All right. Now, liquidation usually starts like this. You find some stuff around your home and the smartest thing to do is to try to sell it for as cheap as you can. Let me give you guys an example. All right. I have here an iPod, right? Now, this can do photos, take video, all of the good stuff. But basically, I think when I got it, it was like $200 in the store. I don't know what it's worth. Let's just suppose brand new, these were going for $150 in the store, right? Now I have mine used in good condition. All right, I'm probably going to be thinking about a hundred dollars if I want to get rid of it fast. I'm going to say seventy-five bucks. Now some people might think that that's a ripoff, and that's probably why they don't make any money. There's a lot of resellers who want top dollar for everything that they sell, and it's one of the biggest reasons why they don't raise capital, why they're not able to sustain a uh, an income 24-7 during the liquidation process you want to liquidate well, first of all to be completely honest with you if I had an iPod I wouldn't do anything but eBay because you're gonna get the right price for it um that was just an example for like odd things because uh, now odd things are better on um Craigslist things that are too heavy to ship are better on Craigslist um, Facebook is good for multiple items that you don't want to put in a box and ship like a bunch of clothing and a lot and uh, stuff like that so you, you can sell pretty much everything you want to on Facebook Craigslist and uh, of course eBay but you want to get yourself a stash you want to get a separate bank account you want to put that money in that bank account once you get that bank account to about five, six hundred dollars, you want to start picking for profits. You want to start using that money to purchase items to resell. 
purchase them cheap and then resell them for higher all right and you're going to do this in multiple layers so that's basically how you're going to get started before you do ebay you probably want to do facebook and craigslist twitter or whatever else first just to get some capital going because it's going to cost you money to ship out items and if you do ebay first and you do not have the money to ship out items you're not going to be feeling that so hope this is helpful message me uh, I can help you. I can go through some other information. I have a lot of helpful tips that you may need in order to go further. I do have a fee, but I will definitely give you what you need to hear. Um, I will definitely let you know what will help you sell. All right? Peace.